The Watershed Institute's Edmund W. Stiles Award for Environmental Leadership is awarded to a leader or leaders who demonstrate outstanding leadership, dedication, and passion in advancing the cause of environmental protection. The award is presented in honor of the late Edmund W. Ted Stiles, professor of ecology at Rutgers University. Among numerous leadership roles, Ted served on the Watershed's Board of Trustees from 1991 to 2004, including a term as board chair from 1994 through 1997. Um, Ted was also a member of our advisory board from 1998 until his passing. Ted played a leadership role in the Watershed Institute's land protection, science, and advocacy efforts. And if you look back in the minutes of our board meetings during his time on the board, Ted's name is everywhere, um, <laughs> making, making important comments, posing important questions um, along the way as the watershed really built a lot of the programming that lasts to this day um, during those years. Ted dedicated his life to protecting land in New Jersey and played a leading role with numerous other conservation organizations. In addition to the watershed, he um, supported and served the Friends of Hopewell Valley Open Space, Hutchinson Memorial Forest, and the DNR Greenway Land Trust, where he served on their board. Um, the Watershed Institute is very pleased, and I'm very honored to present tonight the Edmund W. Ted Stiles Award for Environmental Leadership to Hella and Scott McVeigh. I have quite a bit to say about the two of you, so you can stay seated for a little bit if you'd like, or come on up. <laughs> Scott and Helen McVeigh's photograph should appear next to the word accomplished in Merriam-Webster's. Scott was founding executive director of both the Robert Sterling Clark Foundation and the Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation, where he led efforts in strategic grant making in education, the arts, critical issues, and the welfare of animals. His efforts at Dodge led to the creation of the biennial Dodge Poetry Festival. He was also an enthusiastic supporter of the watershed. Scott has served as the president of the Chautauqua in Institution and on the boards of the World Wildlife Fund, the Smithsonian Institution, and the W. Alton jo Jones Foundation, as well as Knowles Science Teaching Foundation and the Grounds for Sculpture. His awards include the um, Albert Schweitzer Award from the Amano I'm sorry, Animal Welfare Institute, Joseph Wood Crutch Medal from the Humane Society of the United States, Princeton University Class of 1955 Award, Lyndon Baines Johnson Award by the White House Commission on Presidential Scholars, New Jersey Council of the Humanities Citizen of the Year, and an honorary doctorate at Middlebury College. You want to go home yet? <laughs> I still have some more to say. Uh, Scott, however, is best, he's best known for his unquenchable interest in wild things and wild creatures, particularly whales, dolphins, porpoises, bats. <laughs> oh, God, we'll start up the laugh track here. Um, he's the author of, of numerous papers on numerous important subjects. Um, in 2015, Scott... Uh, published a wonderful book called Surprise Encounters with Artists and Scientists, Whales and Other Living Things. If you haven't seen this book, uh, it's, it's Scott has written 152 stories or profiles of extraordinary people who have done extraordinary things and Scott's encounters with them. It really is um, quite a read. Hello, you've got a permanent smile on your face. <laughs> Now it's your turn. <laughs> Helen McVeigh was born in Berlin, and she earned an advanced degree in mathematics at the Free University of Berlin. Among her positions, Hella served as the founding chair of the mathematics department at Stewart Country Day School, where she served for 18 years. She's been a particularly effective, passionate, and enthusiastic volunteer for all manner of causes in our area, she was a founder of the Whole Earth Center, was the first organic food store in the Garden State, and served on its boards for many years. 
She's also served on the board of the DNR Greenway Land Trust, including serving as vice chair for a term there, and has been very active with Planned Parenthood, twice receiving the Volunteer of the Year Award from that institution. Following a year of planning, Hella created with Scott a poetry trail in 2010 in Greenway Meadows Park of 48 signs. If you haven't seen it, you simply must. Um, carefully designing each sign and the sequence in a beautiful rolling pattern, um, which includes poets from a dozen lands and cultures and a binding theme of awe and wonder before and about nature. Hella and Scott received the Nakashima Foundation for Peace Award in May of 2021, only the second time that it was presented. So these truly is an, a valuable, accomplished, and important team. And it's our great pleasure to present the 2022 Edmund W. Stiles Award for Environmental Leadership to Hella and Scott McVeigh. Lovely words. <laughs> this is the uh, this is Ted the greatest. Styles brings back so many wonderful memories. He was a friend, a deeply admired hero of ours. I swear he could walk on water. I barely can swim. <laughs> Jim and your team are not so foolish to build an ark like Noah. You work on very important issues on H2O. And I think that is much more important than building an ark. You're much smarter. Thank you so much. I swear the seas will part for you too. <laughs> Uh, thanks so much, Ella. <laughs> You're a hard act to follow, I'll tell you. Um, but thinking about Ted Stiles, remembering this Renaissance man, my first thought is of the day in, in 2007 when 17 of his friends sought to find the words right here at Stony Brook Millstone Watershed. Right here. This man was at the podium. <clears throat> Second memory. Behind our beloved home on Province Line Road, a parcel of land was broken in two, 99 acres each, by a scoundrel who wanted to avoid scrutiny and review by the state. If it's less than 100 acres, no scrutiny, so he busts it in half. One parcel was developed, Kerplunk. The second was being reviewed in Lawrenceville. One day, Ted walked this beach forest with us along with his two neighbor, David Prescott. We saw that disturbed patches had been dynamited by the owner who had absconded with Bertrand Russell's nest egg after moving in with him in England. Our neighbors contributed generously and with public funds, that track was bought and preserved. Third memory. In October 1988 in Kalimantan, Borneo, <clears throat> we were walking along in a meadow with a few other folks, including Tom Lovejoy, <laughs> Russ Mittermeier, <laughs> not to drop any names. <laughs> but um, in, the, in the far distance, uh, there were two orangutans that were coming down the, coming down this tree and uh, as you all know uh, a uh, a mountain gorilla you know 
comes comes on his fists when he's bounding along. They, they come on the sides there of their hands, as, as you know. <laughs> anyway, this one is coming along, bounding, and headed for Hella, and he leaps into her arms. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm holding up the photo to say I didn't make this up, you know. So, uh, so what does this have to do with Ted Stiles? Well, uh, one evening in 1995, Ted invited us to Rutgers for dinner with Bruti Galdikas, Leakey's third angel after the better known Jane Goodall with the Chimps and Diane Fossey with the Mountain Gorilla. That evening, Galdikas got first shipment of her book, Reflections on Eden, which she inscribed to us. Fourth memory. This, this is, shows the kind of impact that, that Ted would have. He, he would be doing something and then something else happens just because he had planted the seed. Once Frank Taplin, a Rhodes Scholar and enlightened philanthropist, asked if he and Peggy could see that last primary forest in the east. You know, managed by Rutgers, managed by Ted. <laughs> managed, quote, <laughs> Ted readily agreed to show them and us that scruffy patch covered with poison ivy and thorns. We went for a pizza nearby. Frank Taplin went on to save the 589-acre tract of woods next to the Institute for Advanced Study, happily inspired by Ted. Fifth memory, Ted came to our 40th wedding anniversary at Prospect House and Gardens in 1998 with Michelle Byers. Whoop, our time is up, <laughs> maestro. Thank you so much, and, and Jim, you don't need to build that Noah's Ark. You give this I'm to Helen, not me. Give it, I'm, I'm done Thank just aide the camp. <laughs> I'm gonna walk this over. Okay, yeah, well you can handle it. <laughs>